The crocheting actually starts in here. The chain is here. So we are starting with the chain. I'm making the starting loop and then chaining 15. One, two, three, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then we're making a half double crochet into the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, three. Here. When you take the yarn over, uh, and the next yarn over goes straight through all these. So that's a half a double crochet. Then chain one. And a double crochet into not the next one, but you skip one. So here, double crochet, so you always pull the yarn through two loops. The same again, chain one, double crochet after skipping one chain stitch. After this, we're going to make the loop at the top of the bell by chaining eight. Seven, eight, and then a slip stitch to the first one. Straight through, slip stitch. And then again, two double crochets, skipping one. Here you have no chain stitch because this here makes one. One, two, double crochet, chain one, and a double crochet, chain one, and now half a double crochet so we get it sort of rounded at the top a tiny bit. So not this one, but the next half double crochet, straight through them, uh, chain one, slip stitch into the start of your chain. So here is the top of the bell. And now we are turning this round. So you actually now start crocheting upwards from here. So if we look at this here, one that's been done, we are now here and start doing upwards. Chain two, just two for the corner. Double crochet into this here hole in the corner. And for all the rest of this, you always have chain one, and a double crochet into the gap, like this here. Chain one, and a double crochet into this here, until the end of the row. And this is what we have at the end of that row. Next we'll do this here, crossed trebles. Start with chain five, Five and turn and we need four yarn overs for the crossed trebles. Four times round and then you insert the hook into the first hole here and get the yarn through there and then the yarn over through two and again two. And now we are in the middle of the cross treble and we'll do the other side. You need two yarn overs and through two and through two. Now there are different ways of doing it, so I'm just showing my own way. Uh, here I would take a yarn over and go through three of these. One, two and three. And then two and two. 
So now we have that much done. And then one chain stitch. And then the other side. For that I only take one yarn over. And then hook into the middle of the crisscross bit. And then just an ordinary double crochet here. Two and two. So here we have one. And then we need two more. Chain one in between. And then just the same thing. Two, three, four. Into the next hole. Through two. And through two. And two yarn overs in there, two and two, and here now through three, one, two, and three, and until the end of this here, and then chain one and a double crochet into the middle. So now we've got two and then make a third one. Chain one and a third one of these. Now I have three and then chain one and three times a treble with three yarn overs into the last bit. On the row below. So each time through two loops. There. After that, two rows of just single crochet. First for turning chain one and then turn. And it makes 14 single crochets here when you put one into every stitch or every gap below. So two into this three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, and one into the end, 14, like this, and then chain one, turn, and one single crochet into every stitch here in this row. So one, Two and so on until the end of the row. After that we are here and now we have the last bit to do. Chain three, turn and then you will make four double crochets into the one stitch in the middle of where this here middle of these cross trebles is. So Finding that stitch and four double crochets into the same stitch. One, two, three, four. So it's a bit like a fan shape. Then chain one and the same into the middle of the next one in line here. So four here and then four here. So it looks like this here. And then you chain one and make one double crochet into the last stitch of those uh, single crochets there. There. And then again chain three and turn and two double crochets into where your chain started. 
So here. Like that. And then chain one. And again, four double crochets into the one stitch. And that stitch is between the second and the third, that is in the middle of the previous row. So four double crochets here, like this here, into the same one all of the four. Like that, then chain one, and then you do the same on this for double crochets as well as the last one. So again, starting here and making four in here, there, and then you chain one and make the same kind of a cluster of just three as we had in the start. So into here corner, three double crochets. So now we have the shape of the bell and all we need to do is to finish off one row of single crochets and this here, like that hanging part of the bell, sorry I can't remember the word. So chain one and turn and single crochets into the middle. So through here one into every stitch as well as into the gap in between. And now that we came to the middle one, single crochet into two of them before starting that round bit. I'm using chainless foundation for the round bit. It means that you make the chain and the first row of single crochet at the same time. Chain one, pick a stitch from here and make a stitch. Then a chain stitch through the first one of these two. And then pull through these just like in a single crochet. Then make another stitch. And now don't pull through both of them, but just the first one. Like that. And then through both. So that's the chainless foundation. So through here chain stitch there and then through both and you need eight of these eight now there's eight and then a single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochets until the end of the row and then you just finish off the yarn ends and you will be done. So here it is. So now you can make these in different colors. Hope you enjoy making them. I do. And you can harden them using glue. There's a link to a video of how to do that. And just one tip. If you put some glitter on them while the glue is still wet, sticks to them and makes them shinier.